guys, welcome back to Shisha Tiggy Zap. I absolutely love using my magic eraser on everything throughout the whole house, but you can't use this on everything. You know what cleaning supply you can use on everything? I don't either, I don't think it exists. But there is one thing that comes really close. So it might be time for you to ditch the magic eraser and grab you guys the, the pink stuff. This stuff works on some of the toughest areas both inside and outside your home. So stick around because I'm going to be showing you guys some never before hacks used with this stuff. And make sure you guys stay towards the end because I'm going to be showing you guys a list of items you can be using both inside and outside your home with this stuff. So without further ado, let's jump right in guys. Here is the first trick. So if you have ever done an at home hair dye kit, you have probably gotten some hair dye either on the tub, sink, or on the countertop. And if you've cleaned it with regular cleaning supply, it probably lasts for a couple of weeks while you have to keep scrubbing it. Well, with the pink stuff, as you can see, I just put some on my towel and started wiping. And as I was wiping, it started coming off almost immediately. So this is definitely a trick to keep in your back pocket if you are doing at-home hair dye kits and do not like looking at a stain for a couple of weeks, guys. And just like that, a couple seconds of scrubbing and the stain is gone like that. So I am sure I am not the only one that leaves bobby pins in the shower or on your bathtub and let it sit there getting wet and you end up with these ugly looking rust stains. And usually it is so hard to get off, but what you're gonna do is just grab some more of that pink stuff on a rag and wipe it in the areas that you want that rust stain gone. And what I did was just let it sit there until all of the pink stuff was dry to touch. And then I came back with a wet rag and just scrubbed it and as you can see, that stuff worked amazing and it was so easy to get off. Sometimes you got to scrub a little bit, but this time around it went off like that. Moving on to our next trick, carpet stains. So this stain has been here for about a year or so. So I'm going to try the pink stuff on an old stain before I show you guys what it looks like on a new stain. And all I'm doing is taking a um, scoop of the pink stuff and really working it into the carpet. And then I'm gonna take a wet rag and try to saturate it as I am working it out. really using that elbow grease. This stain is not budging at all. I think it just sat there for way too long and it is just not going anywhere. But I'm going to show you guys on a fresh stain while I was doing the hair um, dye kit. I did end up getting a little bit on the carpet right next to this stain. So it probably sat here for a couple of hours. It's pretty dry to the touch. So what I'm going to do is exactly what I did on the old stain. I am just going to get a glob of the pink stuff and really um, just lather it into that stain and work it into the carpet. And like almost immediately, I can see that the color is pulling out of the carpet, which is a good sign that this is working. And it didn't even take as much scrubbing as I thought it would. You want to make sure that you do have a wet towel so it just really saturates into the carpet. And before you know it, that stain is completely gone. I can't even really tell where it was. Um, I definitely recommend using this on stains. If it gets hair dye out of carpets, it probably will get a lot of things out of your carpet. You just don't want it sitting there for a long period of time. There are so many hacks out there for hard water stains, but this is one of my favorites because it is so easy. All I did was just grab a toothbrush and put a little bit of the pink stuff on top of the toothbrush and scrub the hard water ring around my sink. 
And as I was scrubbing, I could see that the hard water stain was almost immediately coming off. So I just scrubbed a little bit more, making sure that all the area was completely covered before turning on the water. And then I just grabbed a rag and kind of just washed the sink as well because it makes it really shiny. This is a great tool if you want your sink shiny as well. And you can see that that hard water stain is completely gone and the sink is so shiny. On our backsplash in our bathroom, I tend to get a lot of makeup on our grout and it is usually pretty hard for me to get it really clean. So what I'm going to do is just grab the pink stuff on a toothbrush and scrub it across the grout line. And I can see almost immediately the color changing and I'm going to show you guys a close up and you can see how white that grout is turning. So you're just going to grab a wet rag and wipe the pink stuff off. And you can see that the grout has turned its like almost pure white color. So if you guys love seeing that clean grout and those clean grout lines, you definitely want to get you some pink stuff. Speaking of makeup, I had this crazy foundation makeup pump that would get clogged and shoot makeup onto my white walls and I would use the magic eraser but I think because I had textured walls it would still leave remnants of the makeup behind so one day I decided to just grab the pink stuff and see what it would do and as you can see even in the little cracks and crevices of the texture I was able to get in there and just completely clean the wall and not really have any of the makeup left. So if you have the same problem as I do with textured walls and getting them clean, this is a great tip to have. We are moving outside to the barbecue grill. This thing has some burnt on goodness on here. Um, almost a little bit of everything. Some greasy grime on here. Rust. You name it, it's probably got it. So we are going to be using the pink stuff paste on here as well to see how clean we can get this thing. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, just starting the outside, I'm also going to be cleaning the inside of the grill as well. And as you are watching it right now, you can kind of see on top of the um, heat gauge that just kind of burnt on stuff. I just wipe that almost right off. And then back here, I don't get it completely back to its original color, but you can definitely see the shine once I start scrubbing this down. So I'm just going to take a couple seconds and get this all clean before we see the finishing look. Okay, guys, it's time to put on your sunglasses because this thing is shining brighter than the sun. <laughs> Just kidding. But even though it isn't back to its brand new shape, it is definitely back to a nicer, sleeker look. I have used multiple different barbecue cleaners and I will say it doesn't get it as clean as this pink stuff did. This stuff is definitely the miracle cream that they say it is. So, as you can see, there are a lot of spots that were all grimy and gross on here. And just with a little bit of scrubbing, it was completely off and all sparkly clean. So, that concludes this video. If you guys are looking for more hacks, I encourage you guys to click on one of these videos and keep watching Tisha Tidies Up. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys. Mm -hmm.